What's going on everyone? It's Jamie here from Shopify Masterclass and today we're going to be taking a look at if you have a lot of add to carts but no sales, they can be extremely frustrating. So we're going to look at five different ways here to diagnose this problem and how to turn those add to carts into sales. So make sure you stay to the end of the video here because these good tips are going to help maybe if you're a beginner or a little advanced here as having a lot of add to carts but no sales is so frustrating as a customer was so close to purchasing things online. So we'll go over these five tips here and before we do it I just want to thank our sponsor ProfitCalc, the one-click profit calculator app available on the Shopify app store. There's a link in the description below to access a 15-day free trial. And this app's gonna let you skip the spreadsheets and get back to growing your store here. I'm gonna show a quick video detailing their full feature set. Are you a Shopify business owner who spends hours doing your accounting? Have messy spreadsheets kept you from growing your business? Discover ProfitCalc, the affordable and easy to set up Shopify app that crunches your numbers in just one click. It automatically syncs with all your accounts and expenses to calculate your profit displaying everything in an easy to read dashboard so you understand your business in real time. Start for free on the Shopify app store today. Let's dive into our first tip here and that's simply gonna be using cart recovery apps. So if a customer has added something to their cart, they are very close to purchasing a product, but something might come up in their lives. Maybe they're on a bus and they don't wanna whip out their credit card. Maybe someone distracted them and they have to get back to work or their kids are calling them. Many customers add things to carts with the intention of purchasing them, but things come up in their life. So it's important to remind them to say, hey, your cart is still here. You can come purchase your product. Telling them along the lines, don't worry, we saved it for you. And so you can accomplish this through many different mediums. There's email, Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp, SMS. The best way to set this up is just to be going to the Shopify app store. If you search cart recovery, there's apps on WhatsApp. There's email here, push notifications, SMS marketing. There are tons of apps available to accomplish this for you. And they are very easy to set up. This is going to really boost your cart recovery here as you can send multiple messages over multiple days to get a customer to come back and purchase your product. As they were so close, you're just going to nudge them over the edge here. Tip number two is going to be free shipping. Do you have a free shipping option? If you don't, you should implement one. As free shipping is one of the most important factors customers see when surveyed when they are about to purchase a product. Many customers want free shipping. You could even have a free shipping threshold to say you need to order $100 worth of goods. This is great for average order value as it's going to boost that there. You could also price it into your products. The product could be a few dollars more expensive but have free shipping and that's something that customers have shown to prefer rather than having a cheaper product and shipping on top of it. Brands such as Amazon has made it an expectation that shipping is free even though it is a cost to your business. So make sure you have some type of free shipping option. The next one is going to be appearance. How does your Shopify store look? Is it unprofessional? Are there too many pop-ups? Are there poor product images? You want to make sure that your site looks legitimate. You don't want to look like a site that was just set up that doesn't have a primary domain. It has the .myshopify.com domain. Not having a site with a good appearance can make a customer feel that the site isn't trustworthy and they're going to prefer to shop somewhere else. And this leads us into social proof. You want to have lots of product reviews on your website. You want to have overall site reviews. As you want to answer the question, how can I as a customer trust the store that it's going to send me my product? I'm going to get what they promise. There are many scams online. So you want to make sure that a customer feels trust with your brand and reviews and social proof are a great way to do that. If you are a drop shipper, a great way to do that is to get an AliExpress review importer as you can import the reviews from the same products you're shipping out into your Shopify store to create social proof there and that sense of legitimacy. As many people on AliExpress will leave reviews with images, which are great as well. And as a regular store, you want to get some apps here to help collect social proof, such as Yopto is a highly regarded one. Judge me as well as it's going to create automatic emails after a customer has ordered to get them to generate a review which can further add social proof and this is something that's going to compound over time as the more reviews you get you should be getting more shopify sales which are going to lead to even more reviews and so on the fifth and final tip here is going to be policies so what are the policies on your website how do you return a product how do you exchange a product i'm going to have these in place as the customer is going to ask will my item be as expected if you're an apparel brand sizing can be an issue so you want to make sure that returns are easy and quick the same thing for exchanges here, as this is gonna make a customer feel more comfortable with ordering in the first place to say, okay, hey, if my item wasn't as expected, as it can be hard to translate some things from images to what it feels like in real life, the customer can easily return it or exchange it for a different size. And that's gonna bring comfort when a customer is in the buying process and making a decision if they should purchase from your store 
or they can go to almost any other store out there with a better policy, or they could go to a physical store. So you want to make that decision easier for them by giving very clear return and exchange policies. You can do ones that benefit the customer as well. We do have one bonus tip here today, and that's going to be to set up remarketing audiences for people who have specifically added items to carts. There are ways to do that with different platforms such as Facebook and Instagram. We can target a specific audience who have viewed the cart page or added something to cart, and you can target them directly to get them to nudge them over the edge. This concludes the video on lots of add to carts, but no sales. I hope some of these tips here will help improve your conversion rate so you can start generating more sales. If you enjoyed the video, I would love it if you hit that like and subscribe button below. That really helps the channel out, especially with the YouTube algorithm. If you have any questions, leave a comment. Lastly, I wanna mention our sponsor, ProfitCalc, again, the one-click profit calculator app available on the Shopify app store. There's a link in the description below to access a 15-day free trial, so make sure you check that out there. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in our next video.